work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to take a Revit model and move it into the Autodesk Showcase software. There is, uh, in particular, when you install the suites software like uh, AutoCAD Design Suite software, Building Design Suite software, so on and so forth, you will get the full-blown version of Revit. In addition to that, you actually will get what's known as the Suites Workflow. So here in the Application menu, you'll see Suites Workflow. This will allow you to take your current Revit model and move it into 3ds Max Design or Showcase and in different manners. For example, under Exterior Renderings, Interior Rendering, Conceptual Model, Interactive Walkthrough, and Realistic Presentation. You can also click Workflow Manager and get access to the different features of how it's already set up. So for example, if I want to do showcase realistic presentation, I can select it and go into its settings and you can see workflow settings editor window. And it gives you the name, a description, and what the settings are. So what the visual style is going to be, what the default uh, environment for the HDR image is going to be, so on and so forth. <clears throat> You can either click Run to actually um, do that actual performance or hit Close. And if you want to, you can also go back to the Application menu, Suites Workflow, and click the one you want. So I'm going to click Showcase Realistic Presentation. It's going to bring up the window called Showcase Realistic Presentation. It will send the model to Showcase and give it a realistic look in the HDR environment that you saw earlier under Settings. Click Run and it will actually grab the Revit model, grab all the content that's needed, and bring it into Showcase. What this feature is doing, it also asks you, by the way, what is the crown uh, elevation? If you know what you can input it, but you can also adjust it after the fact in Showcase. Click Continue, uh, New Showcase Scene, click Continue, and let it do its thing. <clears throat> what this is actually doing is it's taking and automatically creating an FBX file and taking the X uh, FBX file and bringing it into Showcase immediately for you, so you don't have to do the uh, two-step process. Now that this is going, we'll go over to Showcase and let it continue to uh, process the information. And the reason people would actually take the Revit model and bring it into Showcase is so that they can do some quick iteration designs for the materials. Uh, Showcase is very, very good for switching out objects and changing their materials quickly and in group format fashion. We'll hit close here. We'll let it do its thing. When it's finished, you'll see the Revit information inside Showcase. Now, Showcase, by the way, is has been around for a while, actually. It's been used in the automotive industry. So when you go to their website and you start customizing what kind of car you want, and the color and the interior finishes and whatnot, that's actually using, on the back end, Showcase Professional. And that's where the software actually originated from, was for uh, automotive design and being able to make some, some interesting changes to your design. Uh, what Autodesk has done is they've created Autodesk Showcase for the AEC industry, and they just call it Autodesk Showcase. When we get into the software, you'll see things like the material library, and there's actually two material libraries, um, and you'll notice that one of the first things off the bat is the paint uh, as a list of materials to work with. Uh, and it's interesting because it's general paint, and, and because it came from the automotive type, uh, application, then you'll see that you can use different paint colors uh, just in general to, to use in your Revit model. See so here we are, it's loading the 3D model. And uh, if you, uh, the first time you're doing this, it, it will take a little while because 
Uh, it needs to actually load all the information, and depending on how detailed your Revit model is uh, and how much content you have in it, this may take a little while. As you... Now that it's in there, it automatically puts up ambient shadows uh, at, for rendering purposes. And I'm going to look at sizes to see it a little easier. And now you can see your 3D Revit model in realistic format. It's also importing all of the materials, not just the 3D actual Revit model, um, but all the material libraries and the lighting and anything else that you've already created in the Revit model. What we'll do now is, as soon as this is all finished, we'll switch to another screencast, if you'd like to, on playing around with the Revit model in the sh inside the showcase environment. You have the view key, as you can see, and you can see your Revit model. Showcase, by the way, is designed to have a very clean interface, and so you, you don't really see a lot of uh, the ribbon and you don't see menu pull downs and whatnot here and there. You do see the navigation uh, toolbar. You will see the view cube and you also have features that you can hide and show um, to work with. So for example, we can go to edit. We can set environmental core position because we need to move our Revit model up a little bit. One of the things also that you want to take into consideration when you're working with Showcase is that it is very graph intensive. So graphics card to be able to handle and process the data. Uh, it's actually a little bit slower because I'm actually running this in a virtual environment, which is um, doesn't allow me to use the full power of the graphics card. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and we'll move the Revit model down to the bottom of the 3D, and we'll hit OK and it'll update accordingly. And that's it. How do you this is how you take a Revit model and export it out of Revit and into showcase using the Suites workflow. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.